Welcome back guys for episode two of Transport Fever. And in this episode, we're gonna be focusing on this oil line and turning it from not very much at the moment into a thriving and profitable line that's gonna give us loads of cash to do whatever the hell we want with. So currently we have two trains shuttling crude oil up here to the refinery. And then we've got one train which is shuttling uh, refined oil from the refinery up to the docks up here. Oh, and it's just arrived delivering a whole bunch of uh, refined oil to this ship. It's half loaded. Now, where is, where is the fuel refinery? The fuel refinery is over here. Oh, a wobbly boater. I said, Wobbly Boater Town is too much of a mouthful. So change it, change it to just Wobbly Town. Because apparently this is where the Weebles live. There you go, Wobbly Town. All right, cool. Now, um, one more train load of uh, refined oil and our ship is going to be able to set sail. And it will come over here and it will expect, it will expect to uh, drop the oil off and for this to start producing fuel. But the problem is, there's no demand for fuel at the moment. So we need to create some demand. If we look over here at consumers, this tells you all of the towns that consume fuel. And Honkelbrief City is the one that we want to supply first. So let's head back over to where we started this little journey. Back to our oil wells over at Honkelbrief City. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this train pull out. I don't actually need to, but I'm going to. And I'm going to do something that I could never have dreamed of doing in Transport Fever 1. Uh, firstly, because you couldn't, you couldn't really do it. Uh, well, I, you could have done it with mods. But at this point in the game, like you couldn't afford to just waste cash, which is largely what I'm going to do right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my terrain tool. I'm going to select flatten. And uh, let's see, brush size is, yeah, it's probably fine. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flatten an area next to the track here. So, it's gonna flatten like a little area just in there. Okay, that's just, so I've just thrown away like 100,000 on that. What I'm gonna do is go to here, configure this. I'm gonna grab a cargo platform which I'm going to put on this side of the track where I've just flattened and then am I going to need to flatten a little bit more I may need to flatten just a touch more because what I want is I want to create a nice road here and I want it to look good because because that's what we want we want stuff to look nice so let's just let's just flatten a little bit more so just like that. What's that? It's another 26,000. All right, cool. And then I'm going to get my road and I'm going to lay my road just along the edge of here. Just like that. Boom. So that we get a nice smooth edge. Now this is something that we're going to be able to do later on. When we've got loads of money, we'll be able to like make all the terrain and everything look beautiful. And by the way, I I've been playing around with the um, the paint tools and specifically the assets. We will get to this, guys. This is this is nothing short of awesome. Wait till we start playing around with those. You are serious. You're going to love what you can do with it. Okay, so then what I want to do is have a road that goes up to meet this road. Well, either I can either go up to that road there or I can go up to this road here. And I'm thinking, actually, this road here might be a better route into town than this one. Um, yeah, you know what? To the point where I'm going to get rid of these. I don't really want these roads coming out into the jungle. Let's get rid of that. Stop that happening. We'll put in. We'll put in a road coming down to the station from here. So I want that to curve around like that. That's actually kind of attractive. Yeah, go on, we'll take that. Another 36,000. And then we'll put in a street 
just across there. Awesome. Awesome sauce. I'm kind of tempted to put in another square there, but I don't know. I might just leave it. I might just leave it alone. Let the town, uh, yeah, let the town develop the way it wants to uh, develop. Okay, so having done that, we can now put in a truck stop. What do I want? I want buildings. I want a modular truck station. This is the cargo station. That's the important thing. And we want to feed fuel to these buildings that require fuel. And isn't it nice that it now tells you like what buildings want what? What you've got to do is just select a truck station. Or, or, or and they've had, look at what they've added. A truck unload stop. Again, this was a mod. But now, because we used to drop off at bus stops, <laughs> which was kind of crazy. This is what you want. Uh, the, the developers have really, really thought through what they're doing. So I think, let's see, uh, we want to get as much of this as possible. So there's there's a little bit of fuel requirement out here. There's fuel requirement. So I'm thinking probably somewhere about somewhere about here is going to be the best. Wow, it's it's kind of difficult. It's in fact it's I would say it's impossible to get all of it. That gets all of these except this one, and it misses a little bit of this. But I think that's probably where we're going to go for. Am I going to go for that? Which direction is that heading? That's going up. That's fine. So go on. That truck stop goes in there. And then we want to have a truck station to actually take stuff out there. And because I've put this in here, I could put this like way up here and save a lot of time with my trucks, which will save me a lot of money. So let's um, rotate this round. Now, just obviously got to make sure that this is within range of this station. And you can see, nice and clearly, can you see this uh, this white line surrounding the road? So you can see that that's linking up to that. But if I put it down here, down here it turns, it turns white. Let's flip you around. That turns white there. Whereas if I flip this around, that doesn't. Huh. So there's something that's not quite right with that. Hang on a second. If I go to Misk. Oh, this is the street access for passengers and cargo, which I um, need to put in there. There we go. So let's see, let's see if it works now. Yeah, what do I want? I want my truck station. And now, can you see? Oh, if I close that down first, truck station. See, and now it's turning white. So you've got to remember to put that little street entrance in. So now we can put this probably like right up close to the town, which would be awesome. There we go. So let's zoom in and get this placed kind of nicely. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to keep a few trees there. Just surrounding it. Yeah, let's make it look pretty. 75,000 that cost, but you know what? Worth every penny. All right, sweet. What I want to do now is bring up my line manager, new line. We're going from the truck station to the truck drop-off point, which is so close. And it's just, it's just doing a nice little loop around it. You know what? I, sh I should have put this in facing that way. Now, again, normally I wouldn't dream of bulldozing this. It cost me 73,000 to put in. I'm only going to get 9,500 back. But because I've got the game date paused, if I want to play around because of like aesthetic reasons, I have the ability to do it. And I love that. So let's flip you around like that. And we'll put you in this way. Um, let's line you up with the road nicely. Let me come back one, yeah. Try and keep those few trees in there. Boom, in you go. Ah, stop it. Uh, now I can put that line in again. So what do I want? I've got the line. Now all I need to do is buy some trucks. Uh, do I have, Ah, stop it. Do I have a depot here? I don't have a depot here. Well, let's put a depot in there. So let's grab buildings, depot, and we'll put a road depot in next to this building. Again, I want to try and leave some trees in it. You know, maybe, maybe I'll put it behind this building. Yeah, let's put it behind that building. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna oh, I was gonna leave a gap, but I don't think that works really. So we'll just put that there. 
All right, sweet. So now we can buy some vehicles. What do we want? We want these Asian horse-drawn carriages. So I'm thinking we'll probably only need like a couple. But just to get started and create the create the line and create the demand, we're just going to put in one for now. 23,000. Yes, please. Put that on the new line. There we go. Okay, so wait. Now we can kick this off and we can head over to the fuel refinery. And as soon as we get some oil arrive, this is going to start producing fuel. And then we start shipping it back. And that's when we start to become profitable. Because uh, until our trains are running both ways, carrying something, they're only making like relatively small profits. But once you're running both ways, carrying something, oh, the profitability goes through the roof. So at this point, it's just now really a waiting game. I'm going to start paying off my loans. And I'm going to let us build up some cash because... We're going to need to buy trains. We're going to need to put in um, double tracking. So there's, there's going to be some big costs, but oh man, it's going to be awesome. Okay, well, this has happened remarkably quickly. Let me pause the game so I can just show you. Um, I've added two carts onto this, this line, which we should name. This is um, RF Road Freight, uh, Honkelbriff Oil, with only one O. Would be good. There we go. RF Honk Oil. So I've added um, I've added two carts onto there, which seem to be dealing okay with the uh, with the fuel being brought in. Uh, we still got the two trains on here. We still got the one train on there. Uh, but I've added two more ships to this route. Now <laughs> there is something. Let me show you. Let me go over here and show you because this is this is something that has changed and is kind of a big deal. Uh, this thing here, transport. The transport parameter is the percentage of units that actually arrive at their destination. Okay, and I'll show you, uh, or I'll try and show you, um, the issue. The issue is that stuff left sitting around on docks will go missing, right? Which is not a good thing. So, having long gaps between vehicles arriving at a docks where you've got stuff being uh, produced like not a good plan but like on this line it creates a problem because a ship turns up with 90 fuel now I've, I've got these guys waiting over here until they're full they come over here with a full load right and then they show up at the docks the problem is that the 90 fuel goes in sorry the 90 oil goes in we don't get 90 oil out which means that if um, if I've got this guy set, which I have at the moment, if I've got this guy set on, where are you? Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, the line. And okay, so I've got this guy set to to wait um, for a full load of of anything. Now I thought this was a full load of like either of its containers because it's got two different containers. Uh, but no, it seems to be um, the way it was in the old game, and it's uh, it's just a full load of any particular product. So it'll sit here and wait for 90 fuel. The problem is it's never going to get 90 fuel. And another ship can't bring in, <clears throat> more, I'm losing my voice. Another ship can't bring in more oil until this guy moves out. So it's a little bit of a problem. So at the moment, I've just been watching them manually and uh, I'm just sending them off when all the oil has been processed. But what we need to do is get like more, uh, like a greater frequency of ships coming out here so that we can just set this to, um, you know, load it whatever's available and then get the hell out of there. All right, so um, what are we going to do next then? Okay, so we have got, let's say, we have been making really good money, like between 700 and a million a year. So consequently, I've been able to pay off, well, I've already got more than I can repay. Um, I've already been able to pay off like six and a half million of the loan. So we've got lots of money to spend. I think we should start spending it. Right. Pause. Where's the where's the trains? Um, you're not in a particularly great spot there. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just move you on a little bit. I want you out of the way of this part here. So let's move you onto there. And then we'll pause. Right. What I'm going to do, we're going to double track this line because we're going to put more trains onto here. So we are going to get 
tracks. Uh, if I can find my tracks, tracks. We'll get tracks, and we'll run this. Oh, come on! Stop being, stop being funny. It doesn't like it. I've got to get rid of that bit as well. Yeah, it must have been it. Must have been at a slight angle. Try that again. Oh, now you're happy. All right. Okay, so we'll bring you out to probably somewhere like about. Well, back a bit. Back a bit to say there. I'm gonna unhook this line and we'll hook this up Ugh, I keep going to I keep going to the wrong one I keep going to the roads instead of the tracks uh, I want to keep this up at a, a decent -ish speed you know what let's try it from here I go like that uh, to there will you hook up yes you will thank you all right and then this bit of track here what Oh, you know what, I can do it, I can do it. What I want is that going across there. And can I put in a slip switch here? You see how the line, the track is going across, like straight across. But if I set this to a double slip switch, it'll now allow trains to go either across or switch onto this line. Which means that trains coming this way, if I, well, actually trains are going that way. Uh, uh, but they will be going they will be going up this side and coming down this side so actually what i should do is flip this train around really yeah, that's a good point you know what let's flip you around because you're going to be on the wrong track when you're going that way and then we'll put in some signals which will be we want a signal just before we go into there this needs a signal as well okay so that's fine let's go up to the other end Finish double tracking this. Get rid of that piece of track. Get our tracks. Bring this in up to. Let's see. Where's the state? Come on. Where's the station? Okay, the station's there. So let's bring you up to say there. And bring that out like that. Yeah, good speeds. Nice. Signal goes in about there. Now, of course, this train is going to be head in the wrong direction because it should be uh, oh no it's not that should be going up that and coming down this one so that's actually one actually on the right track so that's good okay um in that case let it run and if we bring up the uh, the lines we can see yeah it's now running a double track awesome sauce okay so next job we want to double up the trains on here. And this is another really nice feature. If we go to the vehicle manager and we go to the crude line, we've got two trains on here. I can go and click this button. Confirm mass clone. It will clone all the vehicles on this line. So if I've got two trains on this line, it'll create two more. So I'm going to need extra money to do this. So let's, uh, let's borrow a bunch of cash. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the manager, confirm the mass clone. Yes. And see, it's now created two more trains on that line. And it automatically puts them on, so they just pull out and go. That is so easy. I love it. But to have four trains running on this track, you can see this guy's going to sit here and wait. And he's probably going to sit here and wait for quite some time. So we need to put more signals on the track to create more blocks because currently we've only got like two blocks we've got we've got a signal there and that creates a, a block into the station and out of the station until the next signal which is the one up here and then we've got from that signal into the station and back to here so we've only got two blocks so we can only run two trains on here so we would need at least two more signals to create four blocks to run four trains but we want uh, a little bit more than that so what i'm going to do I'm going to put, um, have I got, is that like, is that one of my signals? That is one of my signals. Okay, you know what, I'm going to put a signal on that side. You know what, I should turn my uh, signal icon on, shouldn't I, so I can actually see. Okay, so I've got a pair of signals there. I didn't even know, I didn't even know that was there, but it is. So I've got a pair of signals there. I'll put a pair of signals on the other side of the bridge. Now, this placement is like, it, I just like aesthetic really I just I just 
think it's nice having signals before tunnels and bridges. So we've now broken it up into six segments. So our trains can follow um, behind each other a little bit more closely if they need to. All right, let's uh, crank it up and let it run. So you're going to move out. This segment is still blocked. But as soon as it passes that signal by the bridge, this train should pull out. Okay. Train has passed the signal. Signal goes up and out he pulls. All right. And there was much rejoicing. You know what? Now we're getting these, um, these other trains on. We're going to set the clock running. Date, speed goes back to normal. Next train pulls out. Waits for the track to be clear. Track is now clear. Signal raises and off he goes. Sweet. So we've now got four trains running on there. And the next thing, of course, we want to do is double up the trains on here. But again, now, I don't need to completely double track this. So we'll just put in a passing place. Uh, let's pause it again while I do this. So let's see, halfway between here and here is probably here. But the trains are a bit slower going up the hill, like quite a lot slower. Which means... That's going to be slowed down, so that's going to come out later. So we probably want the passing place moved a little bit further up here. So I would imagine in this stretch here. So let's try. And we'll see if it works. So we'll put a passing place in. Let's come out like that. You want to keep the speeds up because you don't want them slowing down when they transfer. And then we'll run this out. I don't know, maybe there. And then Join it up, and again, come on, keep the speeds up to something reasonable. There we go. And again, we need signals on that. So we'll have a signal there, and we'll have a signal there. Okay, cool, so we've got a passing place. Awesome, what we need now, let's set that running again. Now, we need another train. So, hmm, how am I gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna go to fuel and oil, and I'm just gonna say, mass clone again now we've only got one train on here but that's fine now the other way of doing it is you can control uh, clone specific trains so you could say i want that one cloned and if i had if i had three i could like pick the one or two for example if i could pick two and it would clone two trains so clone that uh, oh i haven't got enough money to clone it really not enough money come on okay we'll borrow another half a million and where were we? We were on fuel and oil. Uh, clone. Clone all vehicles. Boom. And there we go. Train 6. Train 6 is ready to depart. Now what I'm going to do, because this train has just pulled out. Is uh, we'll wait till that goes up there a bit. Uh, I'll put a signal in. Let's see. I'm going to put a signal in, like up there. That'll allow this train to move out. Oh, oh sorry. Go. And then I'm going to flip it around. Hooray. So now it can just go and pull into the station and wait to be full of oil. Or some sauce. Now, the, the only problem is that because I've got them, I've got this set to wait for a full load of oil. So that he's gonna wait a tiny little bit until he's uh, here. We go. One more. He's waiting on this train to arrive. But now we've got four trains. I'm thinking it's not gonna be a problem keeping these guys supplied with oil. I certainly hope not. So he can now pull out. This guy, uh, have you de yes, he's delivered his stuff. He's coming back. How is the passing place going to work? Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight, but I think it's going to work. Oh, it's going to be close. Let's see. Let's see if you slow down. 18 miles an hour. No. Oh, oh, he slowed down one mile an hour. And he's back to 18. Hooray, good. 
But that was because he had a little weight. Now, let's see. Is this guy going to have a weight or not? Uh, 42, 43, 44, 48, and 40. Come on, we want one more. Oh, we need one more. You know what? I'm going to manually tell him to go. Because it's silly sitting around waiting for one. Now that train would have brought the one that he needed. Oh, look, we've got fuel. How much fuel have you got? Oh, you've got a, you're carrying a full load of fuel back. This is what brings in the money. So, let's uh, see. I really, I really wish that they'd have taken the investments out. So it was just a, just a straight profit and loss. Yeah, and then it should be like capital investment adjusted. Like underneath. See, I, I shouldn't have to subtract this from this every time. It, it's kind of crazy. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, loan. Um, yeah, I can already start repaying this off if I want to. So, we're, we've only got a 7 million loan. Right, so you turn up. You're putting oil on the line. Alright, now I need to go over here because this this ship is sitting here. Now, you delivered 90 fuel. You've only got 88 fuel back. So, I'll tell you manually to go on your way. But, we've got three ships. Now, we've been running three ships before we doubled up the line. So I'm guessing we're going to need at least two more ships. And I'm starting to think maybe even another one. So let's have a look at this. We've got we've got the three ships we're making. Okay, well at the moment we're making a quarter of a million, but it's because it's kind of it's kind of slow. When they when they drop off, this jumps up quite significantly. But yeah, we definitely need more boats because the dock is now unmanned. There isn't a ship here ready to load, which means that uh, any any oil that gets put on the dock is going to start disappearing. Let's see, have we got a, ship, uh, a train coming in anytime soon? See, that train's had to sit and wait because it was waiting for that one. Let's get rid of those. I don't, con I don't care about the condition of um, vehicles getting old. Don't care. Nope. I'm going to run them into the ground. <laughs> okay, so this vehicle is going to come up. Where are you? Here he goes. He's going to come up and he's going to dump oil on this dock. I'm going to get another boat queued up because I don't want to lose too much of this oil. So buy and put you on the fuel line. Okay. Train is going to pull up. Unload the oil. Okay, so we've got 49 oil sitting on the dock. Lovely. Not a problem, right? Uh, you know, let me turn that boat around because I'm going to hopefully show you that stuff disappears. Now, I don't know how long this takes or on what basis it's done. But this will start disappearing. Let's turn it around. I don't want you to go too far. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, look, it just ticked. See, it started to tick down now. So it's kind of important to have ships waiting to load that directly because otherwise, look, it's already down to 44. It disappears pretty quickly. This is um, this is a major change. So I think I think what I'm going to try I'm going to try this. I haven't come up with a solution for this, but something's just occurred to me. I'm going to give it a try, and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to say uh, I want another ship, another shipyard, not a shipyard, another dock, another cargo dock, not a passenger dock, a cargo dock. Flip you around and line you up as best I can, which I think is there. I'm going to put you in there. Now, I do want a different dock rather than extending the existing dock. So you're going to go in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to put in a new line, which is going to be from there to here. And this one is going to have, let's see, 
I'm going to buy a couple of vehicles. So I'm going to have a couple of boats for this. One, two. Put those on the new line. Okay. Alrighty. So, go. So with these, with this second line, do I want them? Do I want them to wait for a full load at this end? And the answer is, I think yes. So we'll tell them to wait for a full load. So line one, we're at Gurkha City North, wait for a full load. Um, yeah, wait for a full load. But when you get to the other end, right? Don't, don't wait. What that should mean is that if if we're ever getting stuck here, that the second line will will feed oil in. The thing is, look, this is putting fuel on this dock. Uh, so what I'm going to have to see, I'd have to tell these guys not to pick up any fuel. That's not good. Okay, we've got the Russian Class T Type 1. Awesome. Now, I've been watching this. And I have rapidly come to the conclusion that this is that this whilst it does work, it's not particularly efficient. So what I've decided to do is change this line. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this line, line one. Um, so I'm going to reassign the vehicles on line one. Uh, where are we? Where's my line one? Here's my line one. So you guys, I could have just clicked that to select all of them. Uh, you're going to go onto that onto the, uh, the 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 SF fuel and oil line. We'll get rid of that line one, so all the ships are going to be on one line. But what I'm going to do now is change it from unlimited wait. So I'm going to say wait for a full load, but I'm going to say instead of unlimited, I'm going to set it to a maximum of a 10 minute wait. Now what that should mean is that there should always be a boat sitting here waiting for the fuel. But they won't wait forever for fuel that's never going to come. And hopefully, yeah, we've got a boat waiting there for oil, which is good. It's waiting for one more load, which is coming in now. And yeah, we've got a little bit of a wait before that ship gets in. So, yeah. Until these space out a little bit. Let's see, how many, how many ships have we got? So we've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six ships, but there's two waiting there. And that's that's going to be where the, where the delay is, because they've got to wait for the fuel to be processed. But hopefully, this should start processing all faster soon. We, uh, we're over the limit on production and transport. We just need to get the shipping up a little bit, which now that... Now that I've stopped the delays, hopefully this this should start shipping more frequently. Let's just, you know what, let's click on, uh, what do I want? Let's click on here and say, so the shipping parameter indicates how many units per year are shipped to other industries or towns. So yeah, we just need to get a little bit more shipped. So let's see. You've got 45... And how many are in here? There's none. It's crazy. Okay. So I, I'm going to cut the waiting time down then in that case. So um, I had it set at 10 minutes. I'm going to cut it down to a maximum waiting time of five then. Okay. So you're going to get on your way. This is a very fine balance. I'm sure this will make sense once we've had a bit more experience with the game. At the moment, it's like, what? <laughs> but... I'm sure it'll all work out, but I do love the way the ships dock now. That's so much nicer than the way they used to dock. All right, so you drop off your 90 fuel. Or you should have been dropping off 90 fuel. Ah, no, you know what? It's when I switch them over, they've gone onto this line without having oil on board. Right, so you go back. Have you got oil on board? Yeah, you've got 80 oil on board. You've got nothing. You've got 90. So you need to go back. Okay, right. I think we've sorted them out now. Uh, let's get back to the trains. So we want to start upgrading our trains. Look, the money is flooding in at the moment. 
even with my ships a best bit messed up, we're making we're still making around a million, a little bit more a year. So now, <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Uh, what do I want? I want the vehicle manager, and we are going to go for the crude line. Now, it's kind of a shame that I can't. What I want to do is replace this with a Type T. And I'm still going to stick, I think, with uh, 49 capacity. Because it kind of works with the ships. So, but what I want, I, I kind of want to be able to see a train when I hit this. Because they up, they up, they replace. No, nope. I thought they replaced instantly. Uh, let's try that again. So, <laughs> man, we want to go to here and choose the crude line replace Russian class T and six cars one two three four five six and replace for three and a half million oh yeah I did click it but I hadn't got the money had I no so I need to borrow some just go up to like seven million there we go and replace hooray and yes they do replace instantly I thought they did <laughs> oh good great and um, i got to say, not the sexiest train that I have ever seen. Oh, come on. There we go. It's kind of a bit dull and brown and... Not like the sexy British trains. But generally, still fairly awesome watching them run around. Let's run it on, on double speed, which I think is kind of normal speed. Oh, we are starting to see lots of trains running around. This is what we want. All right. And of course, the trains now should uh, should be able to handle this hill so much better. These trains are so much more powerful. I, I guess I should have shown you that, really, if we go into here. So the, the Class 5, 50 kilowatts and um, 20 kilonewtons, and the Class 2... 80 kilowatts and 40 kilonewtons so it's significantly more powerful and it's 25 miles an hour as opposed to 19 miles an hour so significantly better where's the where's the next train oh you're you just you waiting yeah he's waiting okay you've got your full load no you haven't 49 for a full load here we go 45 see the other trains having to wait I'm gonna have to double track this I think yeah we're gonna have to double track this because this this needs to produce and ship significantly more now to get up to the next level and having that waiting all the way back there I mean there's no reason why that can't come down here uh, and just like like wait here and then it's just straight in and straight out. Which would make a hell of a lot of sense. We've got oil waiting there. How are we doing up here? We've got... Yeah, we've got fuel waiting to be shipped. 45 fuel. You're waiting on some oil. You've shipped out with a full load. Excellent. You have just shipped out with 74. That's great. We've got a ship just pulling in. You're waiting. Okay, that's that's about as good as it's going to get. But we obviously we don't need this um, this second dock, so we might as well have the thirty grand back. Thank you very much. Which means I can pay off some more of my loan. So we're down to uh, a loan of like five and a half grand. We've got plenty of ships on there. We've upgraded our trains. So next episode, I guess we're going to be looking for other opportunities. Uh, I think we should start on passenger services between the towns, don't you think? Rail passengers? Oh yeah. And looking forward to upgrading to whatever the next train is. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.